up YouTube? It's Shiny One A, and we are back again with another video. So today's content is going to be a little different than my usual. For starters, I have a master's in sport administration, and I also am a table games dealer at the casino and a manager in training. So with that being said, I am pretty interested in this topic. Um, it kind of combines with a lot of different things that I have going on, but pretty much I've been getting interested in sport betting. So this video here, we're gonna get straight to all the points and we're just gonna see how my technique of doing sport betting, how far it gets me. Am I gonna win most of the bets, the odds and everything like that. Pretty much what we're gonna do, the games will be coming on in one hour. So my main goal with this is to see which site had the best predictions overall in these 10 games. And I'm pretty much gonna do maybe three videos on this and see if there's a level of consistency to see which site that's more so reliable you can kind of stick with when it comes to using their predictions to bet, so. All right, just so we're clear on the game plan, this is my first time ever betting by myself. So we're going to do a quick betting experiment with the odds. We're going to bet on all 10 NBA games that's happening tonight using the predictions of five reputable sites. Then we're going to see which site had the most correct predictions, making them more reliable over the long haul. I'll repeat this video three different times on three different days to see if there is consistency with it. Because I am a newbie, I will only be doing the money line bet first. So please don't attack this method. I'm just experimenting with unique methods to get the highest probability of winning your bets. Quickly hit that like, comment, subscribe button, and let's get right back to the video. Break. Let's see how it goes. Let's see what the results are. And I'm excited to see how much money we win tonight. Just to give you a little bit more structure, I'm pretty much betting on FanDuel. So the FanDuel app, um, they have a sports book and that's what I'm pretty much using right now. And I literally bet it on all the NBA games tonight, uh, 10 of them. So active bets right here. And pretty much I bet it on the Lakers versus the Hawks, the Pistons versus the Nuggets, the Suns versus the Mavericks. The Rockets versus the Thunder, Blazers versus the Bucks, Kings versus the Pelicans, Hornets versus Miami, and Timberwolves versus Cavaliers, the Spurs versus the Grizzlies, the Knicks versus the Bulls. Um, I think there's just all of it in repeat. But um, I also did a parlay bet just because it was a 10 bet parlay bet. I think it was, um, I don't know why they don't show it. Oh, yeah, it's here. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much the, I did a $23 parlay bet rate wager to win $1,000. $142. So usually you don't bet that much on parlay because you, I mean, you win big and you don't want to risk a lot of money, but I was just feeling lucky. And for the purposes of this video, I wanted to kind of go all in and I knew that $200 was my max to spare. So that's how much I played on all these games. So you could also see like the wager I put uh, for the LA, the Lakers versus the Hawks. I put a $12 wager. I put an $18 wager here. And most of the other ones, I put a $10 wager. I was super sure about the Rockets one, um, and we'll get into why. So I bet a little bit more and got put $50 down, and then the rest were $10. And you can see like over here, the wins, like how much I would win if I, um, if that team win. The reason why I didn't bet that much on a lot of these games is because the payout wasn't really worth it. Like you see even, where's the one where I get like $2? Right here, I bet $10 just to win $3. So it wasn't really worth putting in like $50 just to win like 10, you know? So that's pretty much where I stood with that. Okay, so now a little bit more into the nitty gritty. This is just some charts that I had came up with originally. Like at first, uh, I was just gonna come up with like the team one, team two, and then kind of come up with my own formula of who I think will win. So I was gonna base it on season wins, previous scores against their opponents, injured key players. Um, but then I realized that there were other, um, there were other sites that pretty much do that for you. So they give you their predictions. And these are the six sites that we're gonna be talking about in this video here. But um, these were the, I was gonna make a list of the teams that I was bet against, but this is what we're gonna pay attention to more so in the video. This is where all the juice is pretty much. So pretty much I'm going by Pick and Parlay USA Today. Um, I was going to do a little bit more of play picks, but I wanted to hurry up and make those bets before the odds of getting paid started changing and it became less money. So we'll, I'll get more into this play picks. Let me know in the comments if you want me to get more into play picks for the next video, uh, if they're a good site and if their odds are usually a success. But I also did FanDuel, Starsalt.com, Winners and Winers. So 
these are just a few that I picked. Like I said, let me know in the comments below if you know some other sites that have really good odds and I can make a video about it as well, showing my results with it. So for this bet, I did all money line bets because I am new to betting. Like I have never bet before, um, not really. <laughs> and because I'm new to betting, it was just more so like when it comes to the odds and everything like that, um, I just more so knew that money line was simple. Like which team wins? Does the Lakers or the Hawks win? Simple. So I, this time I'm just going with the money line. I can do another, um, I can do another video about betting on the spreads and uh, the overtime under all that. But for now, we're just talking about the money line. So here, the Lakers were pretty much a favorite here um, with the pick and parlay, the USA Today. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to finish the play picks area. So we're gonna kind of just like blur this whole little area out right now. But FanDuel said the Lakers. But what got to me is when the Star Saw and Winners and Winers site said that they predicted more so that the Hawks would win. It was a little tough with that. So pretty much what I picked it by is how they actually explain. So pretty much picks and parlay, they gave a really good explanation. Well, it was kind of brief. The other websites give a little bit more in detail, but this brief explanation was enough for me to definitely bet on the Lakers. They even said that DeAndre Hunter and Atlanta Hawks was having a knee injury. And you know, a lot of Atlanta players were actually had a couple injuries. So I went with the Lakers. The only reason why the other two sites Star saw and winners and winners were saying that the Hawks were gonna win is because they said that the Lakers be tired from traveling and they are more focused on winning their Boston game that they have this week. And it just wasn't enough for me to go with the Hawks over the Lakers, especially since the Lakers are pretty much taking over the league. So I feel like it would have to, I wouldn't get much better reason to go with the Hawks over the Lakers. So that's how I made my decision with that. And the reason why I kind of like having this little graph right here is because it kind of gives you a percentage prediction based off different expert views. And when it came to things like, okay, the Nuggets, it was a complete blowout. So of course, I'm not going to even think about the other team. I immediately bet on the Nuggets and I'll probably even bet a little bit more because I know it's a blowout. And the Rockets was pretty much a blowout. The Pelicans was a blowout. The Cavaliers were a blowout, but for some reason, Ben Duel was a little bit more into the Timberwolves and... I mean, I guess we can go ahead and check out why exactly that was again. Yeah, FanDuel don't really give an article as much as the other websites. Like when you go to Winners and Winners, they give a full thorough break breakdown of why they pick the team to win. And, you know, it kind of give a little bit of stats as well, especially with which team is it? I mean, which site is it? Sportsbook USA Today, they're a little better with it as well. They give you like a full breakdown of article, um, the odds to spread heat injuries, which is very helpful knowing which players are injured. They don't give a detailed background enough. Now it actually says the Cavaliers are gonna win and at first they did have it Timberwolves. The game is starting a little bit. So that kind of gives me even more confirmation that I picked the right team, the Cavaliers, because a lot of the time these predictions do change as time go on. So you do want to pick it as closely as possible to the start of the game. But the more time I took, the less money I was getting for the parlay payout. So I wanted to hurry up and go ahead and make those bets. But some of these are definitely blowout games. The Nuggets, the Cavaliers, the Pelicans, and also the Rockets. But it's other games that was a little bit more tough to kind of follow with because like where's like one game that I was stuck on? Like I literally spent a whole hour trying to figure out which team I was gonna bet on. That was the Mavericks versus the Suns because this game is a really close game and a lot of these sites were conflicting each other, but not even conflicting each other. It was more so that they had different perspectives as to why the Sun would win and versus why the, Maver the Mavericks would win. And even though more of the sites chose the Sun, I actually bet on the Mavericks more so because I noticed on picksandparlay.net that they mentioned that Devin Booker had a strained hamstring and this is the Sun's key player. So the Suns is already not a very strong team. So if their key player is out, I definitely didn't want to bet on the Suns. So I definitely went with the Mavericks. They're going to be on their home court. And I feel like that gives them the confidence they need to beat the Phoenix Suns. Pretty much what we're going to do, the games will be coming on in one hour. So my main goal with this is to see which side had the best predictions overall within these 10 games. 
and I'm pretty much gonna do maybe three videos on this and see if there's a level of consistency to see which site that's more so reliable you can kind of stick with when it comes to using their predictions to bet. So let's see how it goes. Let's see what the results are. And I'm excited to see how much money we win tonight. All right, guys, so we are back. The games are over. And now we're going to go ahead and see which predictions were the best from each website. All right, so I went ahead and filled out playpicks.com, their predictions as well. Right here, it's kind of blurred out because pretty much the Nuggets game was void. And I guess it was too many players that had to quarantine due to the pandemic. So they canceled that game. And I guess it's post point. So FanDuel, they gave my money back for that. And yeah, so that game is pretty much, I guess I'll like run a gray through there. <laughs> Okay, so first off, starting with the Lakers. Four of the sites set the Lakers, the other two set the Hawks. The Lakers were the ones who end up winning. And I kind of didn't like start saw in winners and winners predictions about this because their main reason was that the Lakers would be tired of traveling all the way from LA to ATL and they want to save their energy to play the Bostons this week. And I just don't really see a team, you know, just giving up like that, especially a powerhouse team like the Lakers just giving up like that because it was a long travel so that kind of struck me um as the red flag so i'm glad i did keep going with the lakers and we definitely won over on this side so we're definitely in the green over here and over here it's pretty much red also just to say the parlay that i had played was void because it turned into nine games that i betted on since the nuggets game was canceled so the parlay was void and that nuggets game was void so i didn't lose any money on those two but moving on to the mavericks versus the suns the suns were the ones that ended up winning so the mavericks did lose all of these sites had really good articles as to why they felt that each of their teams would win it definitely wasn't a game that i would bet a lot of money on because it was one of those games that can go either way but the suns definitely did end up winning Moving on to the Grizzlies and the Spurs. The Grizzlies were the ones that won. This was definitely another controversial game. Even though most of the sites said Spurs, it was a lot of good reasoning as to why the other sites did say Grizzlies. And this is actually one of the games that I spent an hour going back and forth on which one I personally want to bet on. The arguments for the Grizzlies was really good and I was honestly about to bet on the Grizzlies, but because so many of the sites picked the Spurs, I just went ahead and went with the Spurs. But I definitely kind of regret it because the Grizzlies argument was really well and they are the ones that won so I did lose that bet. Next game we have the Bulls versus the Knicks and the Bulls did end up winning. That was a really tough game to pick between as well because they had really great arguments for the Knicks and they had really great arguments for the Bulls. Pretty much the Bulls had everything that the Knicks were lacking and the Knicks had everything that the Bulls were lacking but the reason why I went ahead and chose the Bulls it's for three simple reasons. For one, more of the sites predicted that the Bulls would win. And then for two, the Bulls are playing on their home court. And I feel like the Bulls are a little bit more comfortable on their home court, which kind of gives them a little bit of advantage. And also, number three, just personal reasons. I'm in Chicago and yeah, always been on the Bulls. So the Rockets game, that was a complete blowout. Everyone said that the Rockets will win and all of the predictions were pretty solid on that. As far as the Bucks, it was another blowout. Now you would think that most of the time when they have the blowouts like this, now it's more than likely you're gonna win that bet, but they also did the same thing for the Pelicans. Everyone said that the Pelicans were gonna win and actually the Kings actually ended up winning and no one really thought that the Kings would win. They're pretty much a really huge underdog, especially in this game. So that was definitely a surprise. I definitely wouldn't have thought that that was one of the games that I would lose. The Heat versus the Hornets. Everyone pretty much said that the Heat was going to win with good reasoning, except USA Today, who said that the Hornets would win. And the only reason I didn't really go with the Hornets is because USA Today don't really do that great of a job of explaining their predictions, like exactly why that they made those predictions. So I kind of just went with the Heat, even though when everyone else spoke about the Heat winning, it really didn't give me that confirmation that I was making a good bet on them. So I was curious to know more about why they thought the Hornets would win. All right, and then the last game was the Cavaliers versus the Timberwolves. And pretty much everyone said the Cavaliers, except FanDuel who said the Timberwolves, which I was actually surprised by because FanDuel usually go with the most popular vote. And Cavaliers were definitely the most popular 
team to have won this game. So I didn't really know their logic with that either as to why they chose the Timberwolves. But like I said about USA Today, if they would have gave more background on why, I probably would have considered Timberwolves a little bit more. But fortunately I didn't because they actually lost. All right, so this is pretty much how a little spreadsheet kind of looks right now. And as you can see, no one actually got all of their predictions correct, but some of these sites do seem a little bit more reliable than the others. As you can see over here, Star Saw and Winners and Winners, they have the most games that their predictions were completely off. And it was even interesting because Star Saw and Winners and Winners, it's like when they explain why they felt the team would win, it's kind of like sitting down and getting a beer and the guy next to you at the bar <laughs> is just, you know, talking about sports. That's kind of how it felt instead of these other four sites. Well, these other three sites not necessarily play picks because i didn't look too deeply within that site but um FanDuel usa today and pick and parlay it seemed like it was more professional predictions being made with actual statistics but star saw and winners and winners they always had a very interesting perspective on those teams and that's why i actually added them to this graph but as you can see having an interesting perspective doesn't really get you that far if i would have just went with winners and winners and star soft predictions i would have lost a lot of money it seems like they always go against the grid which in only one game that actually really worked which was the grizzlies versus spurs where most of the teams that the spurs would win but they had but only, actually it was only star soft but as you can see any of the other games that they won it was more so with all the other sites predicted as well the rockets was a blowout the bucks was a blowout Cavaliers, most of them said Cavaliers. It seems like USA Today is the most reliable source out of all of these websites. Of course, that's based on today's games, but they definitely seem more reliable with only having two out of the 10 predictions off. Play Picks and Pick and Parlay have a tie with both of them having three predictions that were off, which is still not that bad considering that seven out of 10. And FanDuel was actually, I consider FanDuel <laughs> along the lines of Star Salt and Winners and Winners because they pretty much only got 50% of their predictions correct and actually that's 40% because the Nuggets game was void. So if I would have just went with FanDuel predictions, I would be out of a lot of money. And that's pretty much the same with Star Salt, Winners and Winners. So I feel like moving forward, I would probably rely a little bit more on these three sites, Pick and Parlay, USA Today, and Play Picks. But like I said, this is only based off one game night. So comment below if you would like to see me make more videos of this. Just seeing how reliable these three sites are throughout the week with their predictions. All right, guys, so we're nearing towards the end of this video. I hope this was helpful for beginner bettors who pretty much looking for some advice on which sites to use for their predictions. And I know if you're more of an expert better, it probably wasn't that helpful for you. But if you are an expert better or if you just have a little bit more knowledge about betting, please comment below and let me know of other betting sites that have really great predictions. And I can also do a video on that as well. Or if you know other betting prediction methods that would be helpful. If you want me to venture off a little bit more into things like the spread, the parlay, the overtime under time, and do more than just the money line, also let me know about that as well. The sites where I got all the predictions from will all be in the description box below. And let me know if you want me to keep posting these videos to see the odds and reliability over time of each of these prediction sites and just my betting experience overall. So, with that being said, I didn't even tell you guys how much I ended up winning. So I bet $202, but it was actually 161 since the Nuggets game became void and my parlay no longer counted. So my $161 bet won $163. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned for more videos and also follow my fitness channel, Mazda Fitness. The link will also be in the description box below. That's a really great channel with a lot of great fitness content coming soon. So. Stay tuned guys, it's a lot in store for Shani Monet's channel. Bye!